Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 more small mods you might have missed on the Nexus. First mod is called Everyone's Best Friend. This mod makes some ads to the companion scripts, so dog meat no longer takes up a companion slot. Just recruit dog meat as normal, then recruit your companion of choice. Now you will no longer get the message telling you to send them home. The dialogue trees have also been edited too, so followers are no longer recognize he's with you. If you recruit another companion, dog meat will stay, but the other one will be booted. This is how it should have been in the vanilla game, if you ask me. Another handy companion mod is the Companion Whistle. It's craftable over at the chem station, and only costs one steel to make. One thing I've noticed over the years of playing Bethesda games is, is if your companions aren't blocking your way, they're trailing three miles behind you. Now with the new Companion Whistle, all you have to do is set it to a hotkey, blow the whistle, and your companions will teleport to your location. So now you don't have to constantly play hide and seek with them. Vertical Spawn's Aerial Assault adds 100 new spawn points to rooftops, freeways, and balconies. This mod also works perfectly with the War of the Commonwealth, showcased in another video too. So if you're a big fan of the Power Armor Jetpack, and want to add some more variety to combat, definitely check this mod out. Radio Enhanced More Songs has 286 songs in Diamond City Radio. So if you're tired of hearing the same 20 songs over and over, this is definitely the mod for you. I can't play them for copyright reasons, but every song is lore friendly, and they range from the 1930s to 1960s. This mod pretty much takes the best songs from all the other radio mods in the Nexus, and combines them into one. To see everything included in this mod, check out the link in the video description, for a full list of the 286 songs. Looks Mirror is a simple mod, that adds a new character customization mirror to the workshop menu. If you're using Homemaker, you can find it under Furniture, Containers, then the Miscellaneous category. Just place it anywhere you want, walk up to it, and now you can give yourself plastic surgery from the comfort of your home. I had some weird Assassin's Creed Unity face going on when I hovered over face parts, but as soon as you select what you want, it goes away. Just make sure you place the mirror at eye level though, since the camera lines up with the height of the mirror. If you were disappointed that you can't take a dip in the pool at the slog, then take a look at the mod Build Your Own Pool. This mod allows you to build pools and showers at your settlements. Just head over to the small cabin next to Vault 111, and you'll find a new special issue of Picket Fences that'll unlock the new settlement items. Once you're back home, you'll find three new water plane sizes in the workshop menu. Snap them together, exit the workshop menu, and now you have your very own swimming pool. Along with the pools, there are also five new showers. You can step inside yourself and set a large length of them on their own. Once you're in, you'll undress and shower. Two of them even have the benefits of removing radiation. Lastly, this mod adds two new waterfalls, three new water splashes, and one relaxation point marker. Pretty much everything's here to build your own spa. Small Map Markers is a great mod to reduce the clutter of the in-game map. This mod cuts the map marker size in half, and it just makes everything easy to find, especially when you're in the downtown area. There is also an optional download for color map markers too. So if you're someone who has been downloading mods that add new locations like me, this is definitely a must-have. Diamond City Expand aims to make Diamond City a little less disappointing. This mod adds houses for generic NPCs in the bleachers, along with the new greenhouse by the green wall. If you bought the Fallout 4 art book like I did, this was actually how Bethesda imagined Diamond City to look like. Right now this mod is more for looks, but some of the houses do have interiors, and the modder is taking ideas on the mod page for new buildings and residents. So this is definitely something to keep your eye on for future updates. I've personally always thought Diamond City needed a complete overhaul, but I'm happy to see a modder who feels the same. One thing that's always aggravated me about the cities in Fallout 4 is all the trash lying around the streets. The mod Clean Good Neighbor aims to fix that by cleaning up all the debris and trash lying around the street. The residents of Good Neighbor seem to care more about their town than Diamond City, so it makes sense that after 200 years, someone would come around and pick up all the trash. This is just a simple mod that makes Good Neighbor look so much cleaner. Weapons of Fate Ballistic Overhaul adds unique characteristics to each bullet type. In the vanilla game, every bullet falls a straight path to your target, but this mod aims to fix that by giving bullets weight, along with taking bullet diameter and speed into account. While I didn't notice too much of a difference at short range, long range is where this mod shines. So if you play as a sniper, this is definitely a mod you're going to want to grab. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, and found something you might have missed. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next showcase.